Hi, Patricia here with Patricia's channel. Today, I'm going to go over how you can add a new product into your WooCommerce WordPress website. So here we go. I already am logged in into the administrator of the WordPress website and I already have WooCommerce installed. In order to add my first product, I'm going to go to the left hand side, the column, the menu column, and spot there's WooCommerce and right underneath there it says products. Click on products and click on add new product or add product. So we have this new screen and I'm going to start with the title for that product. So I'm going to say I have a PDF that I want to sell, which is a, a workout instruction in PDF format. So let's just say this is going to be Hard Rock Abs Workout in PDF. Next, I'm going to go to the main description of this product. Here, I just must begin with the keyword again. This is my keyword, the one that I put in the title and which I already knew beforehand I did the research, right? So, Hard Rock Abs Workout in PDF. Let's just change it up a little bit. And this is going to be your headline one. So go here, and this is heading one. Now, here you must elaborate a little bit more as far as what you, the, the customer is going to find in this PDF. And the purpose is all not just for the customer to learn what he will be getting or she will be getting, but also for the search engines to learn what it is that your product is all about. So here you put a description of about, say, 200 words or so. It doesn't have to be that long, but it doesn't have to be too short either. Try to break it up in bullet points, maybe you know, let's put here, this is a, an eight week workout routine to get the best abs in your life. Wow, that, I would buy that. Okay, so here, let's just say it's quick, easy, I don't know, maybe it's not quite so short the sentences, but Try to use bullet points or to make it a little bit more appealing and easy to read. And the best way to do that is to break it up in sections so that the eyes don't get a huge gigantic chunk of text. And let's just say fast real results. Something like that. And then here you again need to wrap it up. and try to use your keywords again. Also try to use the keywords in here, if you can, at least one time. All right, so after you've done about 200 words, here will be the word, if you can see here, oh, I can't, but in this area, I, c I couldn't highlight it, it wouldn't let me, but that's the word count. So about 150 to 200 words, I would say, would be best. Now we go to the product details. Since this is a PDF, uh, th therefore it is a virtual product that is non-tangible, and it is downloadable, because you're going to sell it right there. This is the SQ SKU, which is your unique identifier for this product. It, it's also, also optional. You may not need to enter it in, in your particular shopping cart. Let's say that you're going to sell this for $19.99. And let's just say that you have an introductory price, sale price of $9.99. You can even schedule the date of your sale. So let's say it's going to go from this weekend to the next one. All right. And here you need to add the actual file, which is the one that you're selling. So just pick it from here, put it in here. This is the hard rock abs. And you must actually show them where it is. So if you already down uploaded it, you must 
it will show here. If you need to just to get started uploading it, then just drag it in here into the into here into the upload files media for for WordPress. I do not have a such PDF with me right now, so I'm not dragging anything. But this is the easiest way. Just drag it in there. I'm gonna leave the other items on the default settings, but the download limits and the download expirations, I'm just going to leave it as none, there aren't any limits. And this down to download type, I'm saying it is the standard download, it is not music, or it's not a software. So it's just a standard product. So here we can have different other settings for inventory, which we do not have inventory for this. Linked products, it's something that you might find useful. Uh, here you can have upsells or cross-sells. For upsells, it means maybe if you already have many more products, let's say that you have another apps workout that instead of eight weeks, is something much more complete and more thorough, much more intense, and you deliver results in four weeks, let's just say. And it costs more, maybe. So here you would specify this product. Since I don't have any more products, nothing will show up. But if I had products, I would start typing here. Let's just say abs workout, and it would it would come it would just pop up in here. Since I don't have any, nothing will come up. And the cross sell means in that it's a complementary workout to this one, or it's a complementary item to this item that you're selling. So maybe this is for abs in this case. So the cross sells, if you had something like say for upper body that would just complement well with this ab workout that you're selling in this particular listing, then that's where you would list it as well. And then you can arrange that for groups in any way you want. Then attributes here, if you have again a physical item that you're selling, let's say it's pair of shorts or t-shirts for workouts, then here you would specify the colors or the sizes, etc. for that particular item. And advanced here, this is uh, uh, if you need to get notes or convey some notes to the to your customers for here, or where, where in, in the menu, where would you like this particular item to appear? inside the menu or maybe inside a series of products. So you, all you have to do is set the, the, the different menu with a number and so according to that number that's where your item would appear inside that menu. And then lastly enable reviews. So we're going to click on enable reviews as yes. It's always fun to get reviews for your products, right? And they sell too. They help others learn what the others are thinking. Okay. Lastly, the hearing for the for this particular the, the left hand side of the product will go to the right hand side after this. In the product description, this short description is the one that appears right underneath the main title. Or if you have a catalog displaying all your, your products in the in the main catalog page, this short description is the one that would show up. So all you need is one sentence or two. That's it. So here we're just gonna say hard rock apps for real achievers or something like that. Okay? Alright, so let's go to the right hand side. There aren't very many things in here but we need to, of course, set them up. Here, we already have re entered, I had already entered a category called PDF workouts. So that's where I'm gonna place this one. And here I can put apps and I can put another tab would be uh, quick results or quick, something like that. And lastly, for the product category, or uh, I'm sorry, for the product gallery, or the fe featured image, it's it's basically the same thing. You go to the featured image and set the image that you want for this particular product, 
And I already had uploaded an image here. There it is, the Hard Rock apps. Make sure that you have the uh, Rock Hard apps or whatever your keyword is inside the title and also the alternative text. That's important for SEO purposes. And then if you have more uh, a, uh, pictures, then you would probably put them in the gallery. Maybe you have inside screenshots of the actual uh, PDF. You might want to take screenshots of there and then put them in the gallery if you want it. All right, so we've completed our product and it's time to hit publish. And all right, so now we can see it in the front end. And there it is. There is our workout. This is what we had said that the hard work has real achievers, that was our short description, and anything else that we put in there. And the reviews have been enabled for anybody that buys them, they can review the product. So that wraps up the adding a new product into your WooCommerce WordPress website. Hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.